angry with himself as well. Darren Webster simply cannot believe this. Neither can we. 17. Oh. Well, a shake of the head from Van Gerwen. This is amazing tension. Nice He's bust his score! This is incredible! Incredible! Have we seen the likes? As Webster goes 6 0 up on Michael Van Gerwen! 6 0! And he's thoroughly deserved it. Michael Van Gerwen, yes. He has missed some chances, as we saw there. Big mistake hitting the double 11. But he's earned the right. Oh, oh, the grimace on the face of Michael Van Gerwen. He's angry. He's an angry man. But to be honest, Alan, all the missed doubles from Van Gerwen, he, he really has been a long way off. But look at this. Look at this. He's 6 0 down. And he's on a nine darter. Don't you just love the darts? We certainly do, Stu. Which way will he go? For Van Gerwen, though, it's about winning a leg. It's about somehow. Getting, it's about getting any leg. Yeah. Somehow win a leg. 60. The hush. 76. The hush in the arena. Double eight. Please finally, please finally please gets a, a leg on the board. Michael, two, 11 darter. He's got to win a few more now. Well, the next couple of legs are crucial oh, as Michael no. Van Gerwen hits another maximum. Oh, Incredible darting drama. Oh, Amazing no. sporting drama. All unfolding for you here, the semi-finals in Minehead. Oh, Van Gerwen has had so many challenges, hasn't he, in his short career, it has to be said. Oh, Fantastic oh, darts. Nice. That's his seventh maximum, despite being 6-3 behind. He's had so many challenges, and this oh, is a really big challenge for him. Silence in the venue. They can they can sense the moment. They can understand. The mesmerised. All staring at the big stage. Michael Van Gerwen from six 0 down is back into this semi-final. Top shot that, that's let Van Gerwen down, and it, it does again to go ahead again. Brilliant from Webster. He is keeping it together here, Darren Webster. He was 6 0 up, he was pegged back to six apiece. And he still believes he could cause one of the biggest upsets of 2016. He leads 8 7, and it's the first to 11 for a place in the final. Tops for Webster. 61, well, His finishing's been poor. Can he finish it in style with double 18? Of course he can! Michael Van Gerwen was 6 0 down. He looked to be heading out. Darren Webster has played one of the matches of his life. Acknowledged by Michael Van Gerwen, who's just played his get out of jail free card. Michael Gurney, if Van Gerwen were to win this leg, one more of those for tops. That's more like it from Michael Van Gogh, a bit more fluent, but still has so much work to do here. He's got to win the next four. Daryl Gurney has to throw in two of the four possible remaining legs. A 12 darter wins him this game. A first win over MVG for nearly two years. Puts him into a Euro Tour final where he would be the heavy favourite against Steve Lennon. But maybe Van Gerwen is making some kind of a move, mounting some kind of a challenge now. 100. Gurney will be brutally aware of what Van Gerwen can do and how he can hit back and... The crowd 99. gasping every time he becomes 6-4. A hold of throw here for 6-5 and now, maybe, just now, Mike.
Michael van Gerwen will come to life in this semi-final. We have waited 11 legs for an MVG 180. He has hit a couple of 177s and a 174. And, and maybe brought the crowd to life. 140. Yeah, 180, 140. Daryl Gurney is getting a little bit hot under the collar here. He's got 4,000 Dutchmen breathing down his neck as well. 100. Well, it's almost like he's cleared the final hurdle in the Grand National, but he can just feel Van Gerwen coming up behind him on the running. 43. Five more. But he's going 52. to get matched darts and loads of them, and I don't even know how he's managed to do it. But he's had some help from the Northern Irishman, Superchin, who just could not get over the line. Three match darts missed, and Van Gerwen's going to get at least three. Probably loads more. More roll of the eyes for Daryl Gurney. He looks a beaten man here. Michael Van Gerwen steps up to the plate to finish off what would be one of the most unbelievable fight backs on the European Tour. He's not there yet, but he's there now. And look at the reaction from Michael Van Gerwen. What a moment. What a fight back. What a performance. Reaching over when the World Masters in 2004. International Darts League in 2005 twice a lakeside runner-up in 2002 and 2004 so he has been in big finals but since moving over to the beat pdc five it looks like Trevor, mm. oh yeah, great two darts. tops superb brilliant checkouts clinical 10 and it is now on the break with mervyn king thinking what is going on what is going on I was cruising, and now, two legs away, Wade is on a charge, and it's 9-6. The wire, and King returns with a chance to hold on to his throw. Two trouble 20s. Oh, it's on. Trouble 20, double 19. Oh, my goodness. What a checkout! What a shot that is! 158 checkouts, and when you look the moment of real strength and guts and he looks out into the crowd and grimaces as much to say you don't want me to win 54. but i'm going to unbelievable shot long long time this for the title double ten one more and it's not there double ten now Oh, he's in the wrong bed. He's busted. King gets an opportunity, which I suspect he didn't think he was going to get. Yeah, only 24% on his doubles. Six from 25 for Wade. 40% for King. I think this one flies in and through the board. This needs to go. And he's missed it again inside. So back comes Wade on his favourite doubles, twenties and tens. Been his nightmare today. And his he's nemesis missed it again. Surely now. Yes, it's there. Ten seven. One hundred. Well, he keeps tons, his nose ahead. And tons feel like one eighties. Right, go ball first here, John. 25 leaves 110. Oh, that leaves 85. Tops. He's got it for tops for the match. He did it. What a comeback from James Wade. Mervyn King. He was baffled. He can't believe that he's lost that one. He cannot believe it. James Wade. Looked utterly out of it, 9-2 down, and he has taken the title. <laughs>
580. En ja, de zege is binnen. Het is alleen nog even de vraag met hoeveel die zege binnenkomt. Want ook Whitlock kan hier helemaal niets aan doen. Die, die is kansloos. Die moet zichzelf zo kansloos hebben gevoeld. En die heeft dus Premier League gespeeld. Die heeft WK's finales gehaald. Ja. Maar hij kan zich troosten met de gedachte dat hij niet Kevin is even de weg kwijt. Ja, dit is weer de hij, baat, die... hij baat in beelden natuurlijk. Ja, maar goed, dit is wel de Kevin die ik dan weer ken van de laatste jaren. Dit is Whitlock naar dubbel 16 voor 134 finish. En is er dan toch nog wat mogelijk? Want deze leg mag Kevin gewoon weer beginnen. Maar stel je eens voor dat Whitlock deze leg ook nog afpakt. Kevin en Kevin is nergens te bekennen. 134. Hij heeft 6 darts voor die 84 om terug te komen tot 9-9. 6 legs op rij te winnen. Neemt even wat extra tijd nu. Hij heeft een keer aan de verkeerde kant gezeten ook, Whitlock. Weet je nog, tegen Hamilton op de World Matchplay toen hij 15-8 voor stond. Nog één lek nodig had voor de zegen en 17-15 verloor die wedstrijd. 52. Hij heeft het dus ook een keer vanaf de andere kant gezien. Ja. En hij zou toch wel graag willen dat mensen daar wat minder over gaan praten. En dan wat meer over deze partij. Als die hem wint. Eerst is 9-9 maken. Kevin op 78. Dubbel 16 voor de Wizard. Die 9-3 achter stond. En nu 9-9. En dan mag hij beginnen aan de allerlaatste leg. Onwaarschijnlijk. En het zou zomaar kunnen dat Kevin nu al verslagen is. Ja, die was al bezig met ook niet in die laatste leg. Voor niemand niet. Er moeten nog wat matchdarts gemist worden ook en zo natuurlijk. Na goede traditie van de kwartfinales European Championship 2013. Jamie Rekwaal, 114. De 19. Niet gevonden. Nog een keer proberen. Nee, weer niet. 58. Simon Rekwaal, 146. Nou, dit is voor de wedstrijd. Hij heeft nog niet voor de wedstrijd mogen gooien. Kevin heeft een match daar gemist al. Whitlock nu. Eén keer triple 9, die raakt nog een triple 19. Voor ja. triple 16, Simon Whitlock. Nee! Yes. Ja! <laughs> oh. Ik wist niet dat hij kon rennen! Oh. As long as you hit the double on the visit. That's exactly what he's done. That's a 15 dart leg. It could have been a 12. And uh, it was... Oh, you require Shanghai Knights. Phil Taylor finally hits another double. Two out of 16, a wry smile. Will betray what Phil Taylor is really thinking. Well, you don't see Phil Taylor in this position very often. But this is what you call an uphill battle. You just got to keep going. That's for absolute. Oh, yes, he will. I was going to come to. I mean, he'll just play one leg at a time. <laughs> That's his fourth maximum. He's not worried about the. And here comes Phil Taylor now to complete what would be a quite remarkable victory on what is turning out to be a quite remarkable night here in Shanghai. 7 1 down. He's turned it around to win 8 7. Peter Wright only has himself to blame. It will be a dark, dark night for Peter Wright. He will forever be wondering. Starts to Dave Chisnell to get that double. The one on the board. The crowd are willing him on. Well, almost can't believe he's hit it. Cheeky smile. That's if Chisnell does take this leg. We can't be presumptuous with the way the match has gone. But it is a last leg decider. Well, Dave Chisnell's missed the one to eight twice in the early part of this match in the second and fourth leg when he couldn't quite hit the double. And this is to win an incredible match. Needs another for double ten. Oh, he's missed it. By a whisker. Well, may stay there or trouble ten to leave double top. It's 70 required. He's gone for 68. trouble ten. 
So 60 then oh, for the match 60. for Robert Thornton. Tops now. Tens. Huge dart. And he's missed it by a distance. Well, Dave Chisnell can't believe that he is stood here on the hockey. Arena MK. 60 in front of him to win this incredible match. Tops he wants to complete a brilliant comeback. Another chance. Yes, there it is. What a game that was. Robert Thornton cannot believe it. He was 8 0 up, 9 6 up, back to 9 all. And Dave Chisnell somehow survives and moves into the second round.